when you try to stagger enemy in Genshin Impact, sometimes you realize that it just does not want to work. You hear a term like Technosity or from the Kuro Ming Giga Chat, voice value, and you have no idea what they mean. That's okay, because that's what I'm here to teach you about it. When it comes down to staggering enemy in Genshin Impact, there's a hidden system called the Poise System, or sometimes I like to call it the Posture System. This system is what allows you to stagger, and understanding it is going to help you a long way. Maybe. For example, in here, notice how Sucro's elemental skill did not affect the Abyss hero at all. However, the follow-up Sinchu's elemental burst and the charge attack actually pushed the hero all the way thanks to the Pyro Majors, which allow my elemental skill to hit both of them. To show you that this is not just a random result, I'll here do it once again, and you'll notice performing the exact sequence will have the exact result. In the popular video game Sekiro, your main goal is actually to break the enemy posture which allow you to eliminate them. To some degree, that is also how Genshin Impact works. That's why I call it the posture system. Thinking of posture, are you currently having good posture when you're watching the video? Or maybe you're even streaming on Twitch. Remember to have good postures. Also, speaking of Twitch, don't forget to follow my Twitch, which I do stream like once every 5 days or so. And of course, subscribe for more free clickbait. When it comes to Genshin Impact, every attack has something called the Poise Damage attached to them, or commonly known as Stagger Value, as well as a Force Level, which indicate how strong is the attack. Now, the Force Level can basically be categorized into a couple major categories. We have no effect, which have no effect on the enemy at all. We have stutter, which will make the enemy stutter for a split second. Knockback, which will push them back a certain amount of distance. Knock up, which will knock them up into the air. And finally, airborne, which will make the enemy hover into the air for a couple seconds. But just because your attack carry force does not mean they will automatically apply. That is just because the enemy is currently not vulnerable. The way it works in Genshin Impact is that every enemy have a certain amount of poise damage threshold that they can take. And of course, they will slowly recover this poise over time per second. And to, in order to stagger them and apply force, you need to first apply enough poise damage to exceed the threshold or what I would like to call breaking their posture. To quickly demonstrate observe how the Luke's elemental skill currently have no effect on this factory fat guy because his posture is not yet broken. But by first applying two electric charge exactly, you can see how the Luke's elemental skill immediately will knock the enemy back a little bit. The explanation here is rather simple, however, observe how the factory fat guy have 210 poise damage threshold with a 20 recovery, and observe how electric charge is capable of doing 130 poise damage every single time it tick, which means with exactly 2 electric charge, we can put the factory guy into vulnerability state, which allow us to apply force and stagger him, which of course is precisely what happened in the earlier clip. Now, of course, they will not be vulnerable forever. Each one of them have something called the poise reset time, which indicate how long they will be vulnerable for. For most enemy, this is about 2 to 3 seconds. Coming back to this, doing 2 electric charge and making them vulnerable. Observe how the first Deluke elemental skill will apply a force, however, the second one will not, because it has already passed 2 seconds and so they are no longer vulnerable. Understanding when they're vulnerable is going to help you a long way in your battle. For example, here I immediately start the fight with my Deluc Elemental Burst, which as you would expect, because they're not vulnerable, they do not get knocked back. But of course, if I first attack a couple times, reducing their poise threshold and putting them into vulnerability state, this will actually knock them all the way back to the wall. Going back to the earlier example, here we started with Sucro's elemental skill for the poise damage, and then we used the Sinchu's elemental burst for the actual knockback. Because surprisingly, Sinchu's elemental burst animation actually have really really high stagger value or poise value, and it also have a really good amount of force. Which of course let me move him. 
To summarize, each attack in Genshin Impact have a poise damage. Reducing enemy poise to zero will put them into vulnerable status. Once they're vulnerable, your attack will apply force and stagger them. And of course, they will be only vulnerable for a short amount of window like 2 or 3 seconds. And once the window ends, the poise will reset and you have to reduce the poise to zero again to stagger them. You might have heard about the Omen extension from Mona, which extends the Omen from Mona by using Freeze. However, that is actually not a result of Freeze, but instead a result of Poise value. Mona Bubble will pop when applied it with enough force. However, that also means attack with no force, like the Zhongli Resonance, will not actually pop the bubble. On the other hand, casting Su Tao's Elemental Skill will actually pop the bubble despite doing no damage. Mona Bubble will pop when enemy take poise damage. However, when enemy are frozen, they will actually not take any poise damage because of the poise damage modifier. So even when you attack frozen enemy, the bubble will not pop and that's how Mona extension actually work. What I didn't mention earlier is that there's actually something called the extra vulnerability state, which is basically just a multiplier on top of the current poise damage that you're doing. For example, on the first line here, you can see frozen enemy take zero extra vulnerability that means any poise damage you dealt is going to be multiplied by zero which of course means it end up being zero so you do no poise damage this is also true for enemy with shield which once again you can see have a zero extra vulnerability modifier which once again mean you cannot do any poise damage to them and therefore they will not be staggered no matter what However, on the other hand, this extra vulnerability can actually help you. For example, the Abyss Mage during their weak status will have a free extra vulnerability status multiplier, which means when they are weakened, they will take 3 times as much poise damage as usual, which makes them very easy to be staggered. Observe how easily my Eula can stagger this mage around when they are weakened because of their extra vulnerability multiplier. However, do know that when they are dancing, they will actually take less poise damage because they have only a 0.4 extra vulnerability multiplier, which you can see demonstrated here that my Eula cannot stop them from dancing. So this is a basic overview of the poise damage system or the stagger value system or the I don't know, positive system if you want to call it that. It's a really good knowledge to have to know when or when you cannot stagger enemy and I'm totally not going to say something like oh yeah this dramatically matter for some new character like coming in the futures. There's actually a lot more in depth about this including horizontal force, vertical force, each enemy actually have a certain amount of weight and with weight and force we can of course calculate something called force equals mass time acceleration or f equals ma and then we can go into like newton's second law and stuff which say you will throw them if you apply five times more force than their mass if you're interested feel free to visit more about it on kerching main website or the equivalent information is available in chinese on the nga website which of course was great resources to help me understand how it worked as well which allowed me to teach about it today and so, of course, with that, we are going to end the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.